What up, people? Uh, we documented ourselves refinishing our floors. We use Rubio Monocoat. We wanted to um, share our experience. You know, this is a quick disclaimer. We have no idea what the hell we're doing. Again, no idea. This is one of the last major hurdles we have before we can move upstairs. Pretty excited to get it done. I love the light in this house during this time of day. It's really nice to watch the light just play off the walls. It really makes me look forward to moving up here. So enough of this B-roll. Let's get to these floors. But we gotta move all this stuff first. This is more of a what we did, not how you do it. But I'm sure you can glean some valuable information off of the things we did and to actually know that it's really not that hard except sanding sanding's hard we hired people for that oh these folks did a bang up job sanding sanding for rubio is super important because the way the oil reacts with the tenons in the wood i think it uh it shows like every everything so i would recommend leaving this to the big boys unless you have a knack for sanding you have to clean the floor with Rubio's solution after sanding. Some sort of alcohol-based concoction. So we started by applying the oil in the bedrooms first to practice before we got to the larger living areas. In case we screw it up, we can just close the door to those. But all in all, it came out, it came out fine. Our large living area was the, the coup de gras, if you will, of the whole job. So we, uh, we both had some run on the, uh, on the polisher. And my wife mixed up a big batch of Rubio, which is actually really forgiving to mix. It's a three to one ratio, but uh, I don't think the activator is necessary. It just makes things cure faster. And uh, we were ready to hit it hard the next day. This was our attempt to make one of those cool Instagram videos that you see with Rubio where they use like a trial to spread it out and go viral. We sucked at it. But those videos on uh, Instagram were pretty much our gateway drug into the whole Rubio thing. And uh, we're glad we partook. Great. Our sweet spot for spreading it was just dumping it on the floor and running the polisher through it. Simple. We went through a grip of terry cloth towels doing uh, the second pass with the buffer. I guess the rule of thumb with Rubio is you can't remove too much once it interacts with the wood. So we just buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed. We were pretty much dead at this point. Things to look out for. Moisture. Wet feet. Shout out Uma. May your feet be with us forever. If you get any moisture in the wood, it'll show up. Not sure how to get it out. But yeah, I would highly recommend it for a slick, low-luster, Norwegian kind of look. Well, that's it. Um, overall, it was a great experience. Uh, you know, really user-friendly. Yeah, it's great. It smells good. Feels good. Looks good. And if you want to keep following along, please subscribe.